So I have in my arms the beautiful Alhambra 4P, which is the best uh, selling Alhambra guitar model. And uh, first of all, what you can see is the it's made with a sealer top, which is a solid sealer top. And uh, you can see that uh, the guitar makers at Alhambra, they put all the attention in the construction of this instrument with a beautiful rosette, handmade as well. And uh, nice uh, laminated Indian rosewood to have a very deep sound. And like on a great concert model, you have an ebony fingerboard. So I've been a fan of Alhambra for many years and uh, most of the students enjoy having a, this guitar that they can keep for years and playing great. So um, always some folks like saying, my guitar has great basses or great treble, or, but what is important is to have a guitar that is very balanced. This way you, the musician, in your performance, you can manage to have more trebles, more basses, and uh, conduct your guitar like an orchestra, which is possible with uh, an Alhambra guitar. Of course, you have great basses. You have great treble. And then the middles as well, they come out very easily. So uh, it makes the guitar very responsive. And if you want to extract like an inner voicing from a chord, can do that super easily which is uh, very important because the guitar is just like uh, an extension of uh, your creative mind. So how did I uh, discover Alhambra guitars? Well just by chance uh, I would say because one of my students came uh, one day to the lesson with an Alhambra guitar and uh, he told me you know uh, I bought a guitar it, I'd, I'd like to know what you think of it. And uh, I, w I had a concert model, another brand, at that time. And so I played his guitar and it sounded like so, so loud and having such a great projection and character. Then I took my concert guitar model, I played it. It sounds like if I had no sound out of the guitar. Then I took his guitar back and it was just like, whoa. And I was just like, what is this guitar that you bought? And he said, it's an Alhambra. And uh, then, of course, the first thing I did is the next day buy an Alhambra for myself. So uh, since then I have uh, several models that I'm using and it's very hard for myself to tell you what is my favorite one because each time I'm switching models I'm going, well, that's my favorite. And I played for the day and then I take the other one and, oh no, I think my favorite is this one. And then. The next day I take another one and, oh, I think my favorite is this one. So it's very hard for me <laughs> to, uh, to make a point. So when, when I'm recording, what I'm doing is I'm using different guitars because one will have like a character for more of the Spanish music and another one for the Baroque music. And another one will be soft and warm for playing some uh, Brazilian music. And so uh, I think it's a good reason and a good excuse as well <laughs> to buy different models.